I was lucky enough that I grew up around the film industry. Uh, my, my parents were producers. Uh, they produced uh, what they like to refer to as artsy-fartsy movies. And it was a great experience uh, growing up around this, this balancing act of, of, of creativity and, and magic and, and, and how you put, bring it into the consumer. Um, they kept telling me to go into another business. Uh, because they realized how difficult the film business really could be, but I always wanted to do it. So I was lucky enough to go to film school. Uh, took me five years. Don't tell a lot of people that. Uh, and when I got out, I went and did what you know a lot of people do. I became a gopher. Go for this, go for that. And I started just working my way up. And what I tell people that I sort of felt in, in my career path and I advise them is take whatever job is offered to you. You never know where it's going to lead. When someone said to me, would you want to work in an accounting office? I said, sure. He said, well, all you're going to do is filing. I said, sure. And you know what? Everything I filed, I read. And I learned a lot. And I've since applied that you know, down the road. So uh, that's really how I got started. You know, what I would advise people who are, who are going to college now is don't look at film in a, in a um, myopic way because I think that you need a broader base education than just what some of the film schools are offering when it becomes a technical trade school. Filmmaking is a creative art. And I think to apply yourself to that to the fullest, you need a breadth of experiences and a breadth of knowledge. I think you need history classes. I think you need philosophy classes. I think you need all these other things that you can apply later because that's what we're doing. Movies are about people. And I think you have to have an understanding of people, not just an understanding of lighting if you want to truly become a filmmaker. Well, I think what's interesting is I think story and theme is critical no matter what format your, your creative project is taking shape, whether it's being streamed over the internet to mobile devices or, or, or up on the big screen. And I think what you want to do, and when I talk about theme, theme to me is the emotion and the relatability of something that you're, you're presenting. Too often times, especially in short films, people focus just on a plot. We have to get from point A to point B to point C. Okay, but why? What do you want the viewer to really take away from that experience? So in whatever you're doing, always ask yourself, what is the theme? What is the point of this moment from an emotional basis? I think when the question is asked, how much does technology influence you know, the creative in Hollywood? I think when you see a bad movie that emphasized technology too much, technology has gone awry. But what technology is really there and has enabled us to do today is to tell stories that could not otherwise be made. And the best thing I heard from anybody that we ever showed Avatar to was an exhibitor of theaters who when we showed him about 15 minutes of the movie, he said it was the first time that technology made him forget about technology. You know, what our industry brings to the technology industry is that it can utilize the creative instincts and a creative vision to create new technologies to service what the story is that they want to tell. You know, I, I think what's missing oftentimes for filmmakers is actually the ability to put the equipment in their hands that give them the tools to make the movies. And I think one of the great things that CMF does, it provides those. It provides those to aspiring filmmakers to let them go out and to find themselves uh, you know, with equipment that everybody's using, editing equipment, uh, cameras from Panasonic, all of these different things. And I think that's one of the really great things about CMF.